nice to have you here. Um, am I making a mistake? So in Bezalel, I didn't see lo so a lot of experimental or abstract film. But maybe it's, <laughs> I, can, I can be wrong. You can tell me it's not. Um, it's they do make some experimental films, but uh, usually they're not in the graduation films. So, but this was especially experimental, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite interesting. Could you tell us more about the writing? It seems there is a real writing of a story behind this abstract film. It was a very intuitive process. I kind of had the ideology that I can only make anything original w with manipulating material or digital material with the hand and then see what meaning come out of it later. So first I just do things and afterwards I try to see what it means. And I actually was putting a lot of thought in writing afterwards and during the process to kind of formulate what I'm saying, but not before. Okay, so first, the shooting the play with the technique, or, or, did, it wor or did it work? It was experiment every week, every, I don't know, two weeks, you just say, okay, now I'm going to do it that way, I'm going to try it that way? Well, I just started on sit next to the computer and try things and every day, and then some experiments were successful, so I get an idea, maybe I'll do that, and then this idea takes maybe two weeks, and when I finish this idea, you know, I already have the next idea, and that's how I do. It's interesting because when I saw the film, I thought there was, you must be a scientific mind or mathematician, <laughs> you know, mathematician mind. There is something really going on in the film. It seems uh, like you have a strong background mm -hmm. of the story behind, but it went after, like you said. Well, uh, some of the experiments were also like, you know, kind of scientific, like I researched about music and relation between fre musical frequencies and I, have, I like science also, so it, it was part of the process. It's, it's a process we think that's, I mean, the, all what is numeric, uh, oh. um. Digital? Thank you. <laughs> 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 what is digital need his own world. I mean, and there is a, a, a proper language for digital things. Um, yes, I would say that um, every medium is a world and has a, a language for it, for this world. Yes. It seems to try to, well, get another one, no? It seems that digital world is using now the world for f another language. I don't know if I'm quite... Uh, it's, um, I would say that uh, human, human brain always finds meaning in shapes that you see. So it doesn't matter which medium you have, like, you can, you know, play with the medium and then some, and you see something in it. It's our brain is like this. Uh, you could also drone, uh, I mean, yeah, drone into your, uh, to be, it's, it's kind of an hypnotic film also. It could, be, it, it could be hypnotic, your film. Yes. I mean, you can watch it only saying, wow, that's, you know, wonderful images. And at one point, there is waves, digital waves mm -hmm. and things like that. And uh, there is also pure, purely visual pleasure of the film, no? Uh, I agree. And I'm a very, um, like, visual person. And I love also the retinal stimulation. Uh, when it was projected in Israel once on a boulevard, there were two guys sitting and smoking uh, weed, and <laughs> I was fine. I was totally fine with it. It was like. <laughs> but I think you can, you don't have to smoke actually weed to uh, feel <laughs> quite strange look, looking at your film. That's you what is good. Don't have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why the color at, at the end? Why suddenly you put some color? So the end is like an epilogue, is actually a part from a, a different piece which I made. And if just to put it short, this is the coming out of the digi digital world into like physical world. Before I did this piece, I was troubled. I was bothered by how this digital world is so alien and make you so lonely. But this piece I was really, was not worried about this alienation anymore, but more just allow myself to dive into it. But I put this end just to remember, you know, there is also physical world outside. Is it on 
a film or could you have that in an in installation or thing like that? Or, no, you really wanted it on, on a big screen. Well, in, the, in my graduation exhibition, this was an exhibition. So there were different parts were di displayed in different projections. And there were also some uh, like pictures, prints of other prints that are not in the film. And I made, I took all the different parts and made it into a kind of a pseudo narrative sequence. So the physical world at the end, that's why you have picture of flesh and, uh, yes. and skin, yes. yeah? <laughs> Est-ce qu'il y a, there is a any question? Yes, there is one. Euh, bah, non, j'ai beaucoup aimé le film et euh, ce que j'ai particulièrement apprécié, c'est la relation, euh, alors pas mathématique, mais euh, ce, ce côté physique euh, qui émerge du film et la musique en fait qui en émerge. Et je voulais savoir si euh, c'est quelque chose qui est arrivé euh, comme ça et qui vous a surpris ou est-ce que c'est quelque chose qui vous a toujours euh, beaucoup intéressé, euh, le lien entre, enfin pas mathématique et musique, mais... Physique et, enfin, physique et musique, ouais, je ne sais pas trop comment formuler. So, um, as a visual artist, I always envy musicians, actually, <laughs> because I always feel I'm so, music encapsulates you so much and is so intuitive and not intellectual. But visual art is so intellectual because things always have meaning and it's not so direct to the emotion. So I wanted to learn music, actually. And I, part of my enjoyment of this project was learning about music and sound. And I wanted, every, everything I did was, I did together. I did the audio and the video at the same time. And it was always at the same time. And that was part of like the theme of this project, this visual and, and uh, audio together. So the one could change the other. They could really relate during the whole shooting, during the whole making It's of the film. It's not that one could change the other, but the, they are both the same idea. So the sea, for example, is visual noise, but also audio noise. And they also, to get a different kind of sounds, is like you get a filter to get lower, lower audio from white noise, and you get a blur filter, which is the same as a low pass for audio. It's, it's the same uh, mathematical signal, the visual and the audio. Est-ce qu'il y a une autre question Oui. Ouf, il y en a plein. On ne va pas voir tout prendre, malheureusement, mais... Uh, what did you want us, the audience, to feel uh, watching your movie <laughs> so. I thought that um, maybe uh, you can be by seeing those images that uh, have a meaning, but you're not sure what is the meaning of it. Because it, it is something, but it's also not that. So maybe I thought that you can get lost into it and kind of feel as if this world inside the computer, it really maybe exists. So it's like a new world kind of thing. Like uh, that's what I was trying, I think. Et une autre question. Je, je, on là. Oui, euh, bah pareil, oh. je vais la faire en, en, en français. Comme, euh, ok. <rire> euh, ça rejoint un petit peu la question d'avant, mais là, c'était plutôt sur euh, votre réaction à vous, justement. Enfin, J'étais à la séance d'hier, et euh, euh, voilà, comme le film est assez étonnant, etc., il y a eu pas mal de réactions au niveau sonore du public. Est-ce est que vous y attendiez euh, Est-ce que c'est une bonne chose pour vous enfin, Comment vous le percevez Voilà, c'était. It surprised me very much, but I was very happy for the reaction, because you don't always get a reaction. I actually, uh, I actually recorded all this all the during the screening. <laughs> I'm gonna put it at home on the audio track and try to learn, you know, what part, what uh, was the effect, you know, like uh, I'm gonna study it. <laughs> so you really have a scientific mind and <laughs> really try to understand everything. <laughs> Peut-être une, une, une dernière question, le monsieur qui est uh, assis. <laughs> Je vais la faire en français aussi parce que je me okay. sens pas. Allons-y. Euh, très rapidement, j'ai l'impression aussi, je sais pas si on en a vraiment parlé, j'ai pas très bien entendu, il y a, qu y a un côté très didactique aussi dans le film. Euh, j'ai presque eu l'impression qu'on essayait de m'expliquer quelque chose, de, de m'expliquer comment marchaient les choses avec euh, la formule mathématique, avec euh, 
tout le processus du test qui est donné. C'était une volonté aussi d'être assez didactique au niveau euh, du film. Fully, I mean, I didn't develop this idea fully, but I still think it maybe this is also a form of art that can be. And what is interesting, maybe, and we have a lot of questions today with your film, it's, it's also maybe, uh, well, it's intellectual, but you feel the film also. It's yeah. really between, and a lot of people who whistle, you know, we, we talk, uh, don't really understand because they only saw the intellectual, and they try actually to get the meaning as, a, as an intellectual meaning and think they don't get it, so it's like they throw it away, but you can have every, a lot of things in, in your film, I guess. You can I, I think it's very spiritual and emotional, and not only intellectual, of course. It is my, it's my, it, if it comes from a human, you know, it's... <laughs> Are you going to continue that way and trying to make film like that, or are you going to change and try new things? I, I am always like to try new things but also go back to the same thing so maybe next film i want to make more to create m more of my own things probably the next thing will be different and maybe the thing after that will be similar i don't know is, is there is some places in israel now for somebody who wants to do sh maybe short film but in different ways like that there are venues to display it but I don't think uh, not much funding. I, will pro I work as a freelance 3D animator. I'll just, part of the time, I will have to earn money and then work, fund myself, kind of. <laughs> okay, we're okay. running out of time. So thank you very much. Merci.